Bummer projects. You have to take care of your stuff, otherwise you won't have it very long, right? Yeah, we have the, uh, oops, excuse me, Jimmy. We have the Navion, which I got set an appointment for brake work, which is not going to be cheap. We're dreading that. And before we do that, I have to make sure it starts and everything. And I think the back tires are low again. You need to have that looked at. This is our flower garden. We have vegetables starting to sprout. Already tasted a bean from our garden. It was so good, so fresh. I don't see anything now, but I see we have a, I think that's a tomato starting to crawl up the rod we put in here. I guess I'll water a little. I got the Freewell wide angle adapter and I put it on so we're seeing how it does. Our neighbor is getting their daily Amazon delivery. Envious? Yes. It's the only form of excitement these days. So this hasn't been started in a while so we're getting it ready to take it to have brakes worked on next week. And we have watered our veggies. And the missus just came home from work. I'm getting greeted by dogs and children. So, here goes nothing. Battery's probably dead, I bet. Argh. Oh, maybe not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Don't you know, it hadn't been started in a while, so got to charge it. So we'll get that going. I guess parents call me, I'm yeah? calling them back. Uh oh. And Zach is not feeling well these days. Uh -huh. Warmish out there. And so far, this thing works pretty well. Minimal distortion around the edges. I got to point in the right direction. And this is what the house looks like. And go in the kitchen. Another table set and waiting for dinner. I got the uh, charger going now and uh, let it sit for a little while. And the battery should start her right up. Um, I've been having an issue with, I've had two campers now. And I have the same issue. Here's the battery. And we're all hooked up. And there's the charge. And the issue is that always somewhere in these things there is some sort of parasitic draw. So if you leave them sit, you got to have a charger on them. Otherwise, something in there, in that RV, will draw down the battery. Whether it's a dome light, a short circuit, or what, I don't know. It's probably the uh, cigarette lighter. But I don't know what the state of the house batteries is, but I wish if it were plugged in, it would just keep the battery charged as well. But I don't know. That's my thinking. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thinking. So, anyway, we'll top her off and give her a start. In the meantime, with the help of our neighbor across the street, Billy, we got our glass door on that I accidentally shattered with the weed eater way back in, I can't even remember now. But the missus is happy for now, that's all that's important, I guess. It sure didn't go on as easy as it came off, but it's on now so we can look at the street from inside and not let all the bugs in, in and the air out. Woohoo! 